It will eliminate fixed seeds ahead of the release of Ghana's first genetically modified crop called the BT cowpea. African Agricultural Technology Foundation for West Africa has given it the assurance that before the PBR cowpea seeds are produced and released to farmers, the farming activities in Ghana seed parks will be tagged with an anti-counterfeit and monitoring security features to enable farmers and extension officers check the quality of the seeds planted or purchased by the farmer before payments are made. More in this report. It is anticipated that before the release of the first GMO seed in Ghana, criminal elements can take advantage to introduce fake seeds to deceive farmers. Lessons learned from neighboring Nigeria after the release of the BT cowpea crop unveiled some potential elements. The lead stewardship manager for West Africa, Dr. Francis Onyekachi Nwankwo, was part of a regulatory team that visited on-farm fields of farmers in Ghana to share some best practices with our scientists ahead of the release of the first genetically modified beans in Ghana. The efficacy of the performance of the product, some people may try to counterfeit it. And so that's why we are trying to put in some anti-counterfeiting procedure to help prevent that ahead of time. So in Nigeria, what we did is to use a, um, a system of scratch code putting the power to verify the authenticity of the seeds in the hands of the farmers. He assured the country's regulators, NBA, scientists and farmers that seed packs will be tagged to check for counterfeit cowpea seeds. We have developed an app. We call it Samawati. It will enable us to monitor at every time what is happening in farmers' fields. So even if a farmer says, oh, I planted, but I'm not sure if this is a counterfeit or not, you know, we will be able to use the pictorials that we have because that app can take photos and upload it immediately and also see any problem, any complaint that the farmer may have in the field.